And we're back for another interview of the great film Tango Shalom, which has got distribution and will be in theaters starting mid-September. And I'm here with Claudio, and I'll let him introduce himself and tell what role he had. Hi. Uh, yeah, Claudio Lania, that's my name. Uh, my role in the movie was producer, screenwriter, location manager, etc., etc. And actor. And actor. I was playing one of these, uh, Rahamim Yehuda, and uh, he's a stockbroker, liberal Jewish stockbroker. Right. And, uh, yeah, little down wife. on his luck? <laughs> <laughs> well, the one down on his luck, yeah, that's true. <laughs> also engaged to yeah, be married. Yeah. It's a lovely, yeah, feel-good yeah, film. Exactly. And it, can you tell us what your takeaway from all of this is? From the from making a movie? Making everything? the film, oh, yeah. Okay. Whoops. Well, uh, we, me and my brother, we formed a company called Convivencia Forever Films. I think this is a great thing to say. Uh -huh. And the name comes from La Convivencia, which is living with. It was a time just before 1492, when the Muslims, the Jews, and the Christians just live and work in peace and harmony together. Right. So uh, we formed this company to produce projects to connect people right. together, you know? And our movie is about a rabbi who believes that God or the Almighty uh, or someone else, whatever well, that you need to see the movie, that he thinks that he should go dance a tango. <laughs> and then, well, a Hasidic rabbi, he can't t touch a woman, right. especially his, not his wife. Not his wife, right. You know? right so right. what is he going to do, you know? So he has to figure out what to do. And uh, it's a multi-ethnic cast. There are different religious leaders in this movie. There's a priest. There's a mosque member, there's a Sikh, uh, I'm sorry, the mosque leader, and then there's a Sikh leader. Uh, and so uh, it's about really getting to the humanity of each person and inspire people to create peaceful events in their lifetime and spread the word of peace and tolerance because the movie is a feel good comedy fable with a message of peace, tolerance, and understanding. So, uh, yeah, we, we were honored to win a Cannes Film Festival uh, Peace and Tolerance Award and, uh, and the endorsements by major religious leaders. Well, speaking of that, know, yeah. can you tell us who uh, played the priest? Oh, the priest is Joe Bologna, uh, who co-wrote the script with us and co-produced the script with us. Uh, he. He's a famous actor, Joe Bologna, a lot of people know him. And uh, Was this he, his final role? It, it was his final role, and, and uh, you know, he was amazing. And, and because of the film, uh, his pancreatic cancer was stopped for at least three years. Wow. And, you know, and the doctor said that he would passed away in a couple months, and he didn't. He didn't. And uh, he lived to be able to make this movie happen. Beautiful, us, divine you know, yeah. intervention. Exactly, exactly. divine And his wife, been... Lainey, uh, Lainey Kazan was in it, and his wife? Yeah, yeah. Lainey Kazan, or, or, No, no, that's Renee, not who he's married to. Renee Taylor is who he's married <laughs> yeah, yeah. to. Lainey Kazan yeah. was Renee in it. Renee Taylor. And then this beautiful lady, yeah. I don't know if you can no, see her. I'm going to mention that. Renee, Renee Taylor is from the uh, TV series The Nanny. Right. Uh, she's married to Joe Bologna. Mm -hmm. Okay. And The Nanny is now on HBO Max. And their son, Gabriel Bologna, directed the movie. And um, he was one of the producers as well. And so it's really a family affair. The Bolognas on one hand and the Lanyada brothers on the other hand. There you go. Uh, so, we're hoping that a lot of people will enjoy it. You know, as you know, you have like major studios we're competing with. Right. Uh, but I feel that uh, so far we've been winning awards all around the world. We've got so far eight awards and like 12 nominations. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of them is Long Island Film Expo. <laughs> we have a nomination Thank for you Best for Feature. Thank you for thinking of us. Thank and you. They're amazing because I've been here to in the Long Island Film Expo, like a couple years back right. for the movie Tracks, right. where I play a serial killer. <laughs> you know, you John serial killer nice. to uh, Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, you are amazing. You are all professional. Uh, the gala award ceremony was amazing. Thank the, you. The food. I was there with Joe Franklin in the limousine. That's right. He was, oh, we um, miss him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm very grateful to be here and uh, that you selected us. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, okay. do we say when it's oh, going to be released? Cut. We're going to be released? Oh, no. Well, they say where it's going to be I released. did, I did. I, I said did. it was released mid-September. And, uh, and the VOD and DVD? Oh, no, I did not. Okay, David, can I put that in? Okay, uh, so for anybody who wants to know more about the movie, you got to go to tangoshalommovie.com. There will be the listing of the theaters eventually there. And more information, the latest awards and interviews, whatever. Uh, Vision Films is uh, the ones that picked us up for worldwide distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go to the North American Territory, uh, beginning of September in theaters, uh, and also DVD, VOD, uh, North American Territory, as well as October 29th. Now the thing is this. So there's a theatrical window from September 10th to when? Exact to. We can go to 60 days or so if, okay. if it does well. I love theatrical yes. windows. So, yes, but it all depends on the word of mouth because we don't have the big bucks like right. the big stu right. But our movie is not... But you have the big heart. We have you the really big heart do. and uh, I mean everybody is loving the movie, everybody internationally. So thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.